What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix's new movie, Thunder Force. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. I'm gonna be honest with you. When I heard that Thunder Force was written and directed by Melissa McCarthy's husband, Ben Falcone, who also directed Tammy, The Boss, Life of the Party, and the most wretched of them all, Super Intelligence, I was bracing for the worst. I thought, man, Thunder Force is gonna be dreadful. I just knew it. But hey, guess what? Thunder Force had me pleasantly surprised. It's not super duper awesome, but it's a significant step up from Ben's previous attempts as a filmmaker. Believe it or not, his jokes don't miss the mark this time around. And overall, this movie is just a tongue-in-cheek, goofy, outrageous, buddy action comedy that's sufficiently amusing. Written and directed by Ben Falcone, Thunder Force is set in a world where supervillains are commonplace. Two estranged childhood best friends reunite after one devises a treatment that gives them powers to protect their city from miscreants. One of the things that Ben Falcone did right with this one compared to his previous films is that here, he's not just throwing shit against the wall hoping one of them would stick. Ben actually designed the comedy around the characters. And that includes the diner guy played by Kevin Dunn, who gives the longest, most clueless metaphor slash advice. And because of this approach, the jokes make sense in terms of the characters would say and do such and such a thing. And not only that, Melissa and Octavia's superpowers convey something about their strained relationship as friends. It's very well thought out. I guess in Ben's part, fifth time's the charm. The other thing that I appreciate is that Ben doesn't show up as often. In Thunder Force, however, even though he plays a lackey or a footman, he doesn't take away from the main villain, Bobby Cannavale, or his henchman, Jason Bateman. Speaking of whom, and don't worry, I'm working my way up to Melissa and Octavia, but man, Jason Bateman as a literal crab guy will tickle your funny bone. Especially whenever he walks sideways. Oh my god, I just lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Most other actors would probably wear the crab hands and wonder if this is their rock bottom. But not my main man, Jason Bateman. He will do whatever it takes to make you laugh. Which leads me to Melissa McCarthy and Octavia Spencer. What a great team up. The back and forth between them is effortless. Melissa, of course, is the loud and physical one, whereas Octavia Spencer is careful and by the book. And since the information on their backstory is given to us at the beginning, when the trigger points are brought up later on in the story, it makes their dynamics not only understandable, but also interesting because you want to know how they're gonna work it out. There are some really cool visual effects laden action sequences. Palm Clementiev, who was one of the Guardians of the Galaxy members, gets to play a bad girl here. And she looks like she's having a blast. She rocks it like it's nobody's business. I don't know if I would ever watch Thunder Force twice, but watching it once, thankfully, doesn't leave me feeling regretful or disappointed. 